Google Player for Education um, makes it easy for me to find apps that are relevant to my physics classroom for teaching science in general. Um, and uh, the reason why I personally chose tablets is because they've got so many sensors in them. So students literally can carry around a scientific laboratory in their backpack. You know, they've got magnetometers, accelerometers, barometers, all these different things. What I'd like to do today is to investigate the direction that acceleration acts on something that is spinning, like this. Ready? So this is what I'm going to ask you to do today. You're going to hold it out, but then what you're going to do is you're going to spin as smooth as you possibly can, and I want you to get a beautiful graph. And from that, we're going to measure acceleration, centripetal velocity, and also um, centripetal force. Today when the kids walked into the classroom, they um, turned on Physics Toolbox Accelerometer and they just refreshed their memories about which way is um, X, Y, and Z according to the tablet. Um, and then they spun around and as they spun they saw that the um, centripetal acceleration actually pulled in towards them. Once they did that, they uh, took a screenshot of their data to save it and then they imported it into Sketch and they um, I uh, drew a force diagram and then also calculated centripetal velocity and force based upon that data. Technology at first takes an investment of time because you have to teach the concepts as well as how to use the technology. But normally once you make that investment of time, things do end up going a lot faster in the end.